our dank control compact is connected we got the power and ethernet and then look at the LEDs make sure the power is green and the link traffic LEDs are both green so we want to configure the ident control compact with DHCP so we make sure that the power switch is off rotate it to the D position power it back on wait till it's completely powered up and then after that we're going to rotate it back to the zero position because the configuration we do on the web interface we want to make sure it sticks and doesn't go back to DHCP mode now I'm going to use a DHCP server just a program this is by Alan Bradley. You get it with your RS Logics programs. Double click on that. And I'm going to wait for the next DHCP message to come in from my Ident Control Compact. Okay, there it is. Double click on it. Type in the IP address that you want to use. I'm going to use 172.18.30.52, this example. Hit OK. Now wait a little bit longer for the next DHCP message to come in and you'll see that the IP address is set in this column. Okay, there it is. You can leave that run for now. I'm going to open up web browser and type the IP address directly in the address bar. Okay, now we need to go to the network menu to save the IP address that we just put in. The username and password are both the same, it's just ident control, all one word, all lowercase. Okay, so uh, I've set the, the rotary switch back to the zero position. I'm going to unclick, use DHCP. These uh, IP address, submit mask, and gateway are okay, and then I'm just going to do a save and reset.